he's really not doing a good job at covering his uh, poopy tracks that he's leaving, laying around on the carpet. Uh, have you ever devastated a bathroom? Got any funny poop-related stories? Uh, I don't know. I have, a, I have a few funny bathroom stories, but nothing as insane as the epic scat fiction that Mr. Deadman has written. By the way, this is, like, intended for humor, uh, this story. It's a collection of stories about, like, like shit mixed in with horror. It's a really fucking weird thing to just, like, base, like, a bunch of horror stories on. But, you know, it was Mr. Deadman's idea. This was his passion. His passion project. So let's get right into it. So yeah, Mr. Deadman, that's been like his online moniker for fucking ever. And like, if you want to learn, like the first thing you do to like not get doxxed is use a fucking different name for everything. But oh no, Mr. Deadman really needed to build up, you know, himself and, uh, you know, his writing career, in fact. I don't know, he just loves to put himself out on the internet there. So, let's start. And by the way, keep in mind, this is like, this is supposed to be like a humorous story here. Nathan doubled over as he raced to the bathroom. His stomach churned, a sharp pain pulsated within his abdomen, while his, think his sphincter was one wrong way, one wrong move away from opening up like a buckle dam. With the toilet in sight, his pudgy hands fumbled with his buckle belt. A mo the motion caused his asshole to pucker up against his undies with a wet kiss. He squirmed and hurried, gritting his teeth as brown water trickled down his legs, dropping dropping his pants. He sat his fat, doughy ass on the cold ivory. Well, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of very descriptive uh, language that goes on here that uh, that's going into uh, the exact actions, such as taking a shit. You know, he's really, he really wants you to visualize exactly what's happening, and it gets worse. He held on to his thighs and gave a little prayer as his chocolate starfish wept. While the turd pipe dumped gallons of butt juice similar to how Harvey dumped on Houston, all he could think about was that burrito, that goddamn fucking burrito. The mega burrito purchased from the taco truck parked in the middle of nowhere. Of course he had to ask for extra peppers. Rocking back and forth, he felt the mech explosion uh, from mild to hot while his poop... Uh, Shoot, sang soprano. <laughs> Sweat dripping from his brow, teeth clamped shut while he seethed. His fingernails dug deep into his flesh. His heart pounded. The shit ride just won't stop. He felt a warm wetness at his balls and looked down to find his package waddling in his body's uh, recreation of Mexican bean dip. A frantic flush sucked the burrito shits down only an inch to rise like a shit tide at the shit noon. At a shit noon. Brown ladder overflowed from the toilet. While Nathan qu quivered in absolute disgust, he tried to stand but lost his footing and fell into the dews of juice. All while the shit geyser sprayed from his ass. Help, he cried. Bitter uh, tasting ass gravy splashed his lips as he crawled towards the door. I can't stop shitting. Clutching the sink, Nathan pulled himself, <laughs> Nathan pulled himself up. Sweetie, he said, glancing into the mirror, while a brown Al Johnson stared back, mortified. I think I'm dying. A sudden torrent of chalk, a sphincter chocolate exploded with enough force to slam him against the door. Lost to an awesome buttgasm, he quivered as his limp body collapsed to the floor. The door creaked open. You're stinking up the whole house, Maggie said, before gagging and covering her nose. Jesus fucking Christ, I hope you're not expecting me to clean up this shit. Nathan, stuck with layers upon layers of shit, looked up at his wife. It won't stop. My ass is broken or something. Maggie observed the stream of human fludge flowing from Nathan's ass and slid back out the door. I don't think Trump care will cover that. What do I do? He called to her like a sick puppy. Have you tried plugging your ass with tampons? Tampons? That's a great idea. Could you get them for me? Wow. Wow. Such a such a funny, wholesome story there about a man uh, being forced to shove tampons up his ass because he won't stop shitting. 
Wow, that's uh, that's very that's very humorous there. Ha 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 ha. Well, amazing. But you can you can just write this off, and it, it goes on. It keeps going on. I did read this whole thing, but it's just more like describing exactly how shit tastes and how like. Ooh, our main protagonist, Nathan, is in fact drowning in shit and being forced to eat his own shit. Amazing.